So I just watched the Fox News interview with Brett and our future president, and let me tell you, I've always known that Fox News is extremely biased, but at this point, they should just rename themselves to Gaslight News. When I tell you that Brett over here was on his top Trump game, oh my god. He kept interrupting Harris, he kept speaking over Harris. He reminded me of that viral sound from Omarosa, you know, the one where she goes, slow down Savannah, <laughs> I'm here. I'm gonna answer your questions, but you don't have to ask me so many back to back. Let me answer the question. It became very clear very quickly to me why Fox wanted to sit down with Harry. They were hoping to make her look as erratic and unstable as Trump often comes across during his interviews. My suspicion was confirmed when this one popped up and she was like, yeah, she came to the interview pretty heated. She did not. The only time she ever showed that she was visibly upset was when they were discussing how Trump referred to enemies within, you know, our own people and how he would turn the military against the American people and how he will prosecute and persecute people that don't agree with him. Things that are documented, things that are facts, things that he has been recorded saying. And then this one said, oh yeah, we asked him about that. Roll the clip, this is what he had to say. Of course, the clip that he showed was unrelated to the point that they were addressing and she called him out and it was brilliant. This interview is gonna make Fox look bad. It was their attempt to try to show her as being somebody who is unbalanced, unstable and confrontational, things that she's not. And it's gonna make her look really good because she proved that she's not afraid. She's not afraid of Fox, just like Fox claimed that she was afraid of Fox. Yet here is Trump dodging interviews left and right, canceling at the last minute, like, who are you, me in my 20s canceling plans? Get out of here.